<laughs> Here's a story about a man named Craigie. I adopted all of them! <laughs> yes! Here's my two perky girls. Say hi, girls. Hi! Hi, hi. <laughs> Here's my crazy little god. <laughs> And these guys. <laughs> uh, please state your name, everybody, would you? Sarah, Lisa, Marcy, Andrew, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we've decided, uh, uh, these uh, guys, uh, you two at the end have never met these two because I was married to your mother first and then... <laughs> and then when you, and then we all get, anyway, it'll be fine, it'll be fantastic. And we're, we decided to go across the country in a bus and solve crimes. <laughs> and, and we're, uh, uh, what, are you at college? No. <laughs> <laughs> Your disappointment to me, Ray. Right? <laughs> oh, you graduated? graduated. Oh, you graduated. Oh, yeah. uh, what, what did you graduate as? Uh, an unemployed film major. <laughs> you did film in yeah. college? Don't ever do that, people. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Did you do film too? Finance. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wear these clothes when you're working, do you, sir? No, sir. No, no, no. Suit and tie. Marketing. Marketing? Yeah. What do you market? I work for a magazine. A sexy magazine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a nurse. A nurse? Yes. W wait. <laughs> Are you Scottish? I am indeed Scottish, yeah. <laughs> Are you Scottish? Uh, you all get one. <laughs> You're a disappointment to me, all of you. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm visiting my friend. Where, 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 what part of Scotland are you from? Um, I live in Edinburgh, but I'm from Dundee. Oh, dear. I know. <laughs> you know I'm from Glasgow. Mm. It makes us deadly enemies. <laughs> there can be only one. <laughs> Let's put our personal differences aside in the new world. Mm -hmm. I've disinherited all my other children, <laughs> and I'll keep you, and we'll solve crimes. But you're not going to film school. No, definitely. We'll send all of you, can we send all of them to a restaurant? Sure. And, and they can get to know each other. Okay. Oh, this will be great. What's the restaurant? The Marmalade Cafe. Marmalade Cafe. Oh, a cafe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because there's five of them? You can't send them to a swipe? You cheat. Ooh la la. <laughs> Send him to a nice... Is it nice? Where are you going to send him? Craig's. Craig's. That's a really good restaurant. I like that. Not that the Marmalade uh, Cafe isn't. It's just... Uh, it's nice. It's great. <laughs> They'll never talk to us again. No. no. <laughs> anyway, uh, we should probably do the show. Get off. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. With Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Ford. Go further. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
Finally, everyone, thank you, thank you so much. Very, very good. I think everyone at home completely bought it, don't oh, you? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's thinking, gosh, these people genuinely are happy to see this Scottish douchebag. <laughs> they have in no way been coerced by a desperate, sweaty man. <laughs> who stands behind them going, you better clap or I get fired! <laughs> and I've got kids! <laughs> Which is ridiculous. You, the audience, I feel the audience should be able to react in any way they see fit. <laughs> I won't have any phony bonhomie from the audience. I will. <laughs> Although I'm very pleased with this audience. Very good audience tonight. I'm very excited. Could you come back on Friday? Because <laughs> you're going to be... <laughs> You're good. <laughs> what a crowd! Yeah, yeah. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. It is a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> now, there are two, two very big showbiz birthdays today. Uh, Victoria Beckham, a.k.a. Posh Spice, who is 39 today. And... <laughs> My other, yeah, what, what is, what is that, what, what? Well, you don't like to say a lady's age, you see? So I said 39, like that. So you could take it out or not listen. She's 39. She looks great anyway. Victoria Spice is 39 and Daffy Duck uh, is... <laughs> it's, it's, it's Daffy Duck's birthday. Daffy Duck is 76 today. I, yeah, wait, wait, wait. First of all, he's not here. Looks good for his age, though, Daffy Duck. It must be true what they say, quack, don't crack. But... <laughs> all together or not at all, please. Not that a sad, lonely... Why are you clapping? I feel sorry for him. <laughs> uh, Posh Spice's birthday, Daffy Duck's birthday. Posh Spice and Daffy Duck, very different, of course. Uh, one is a gorgeous diva whose uh, sexy ass has haunted my dreams. <laughs> and the other one's uh, Posh Spice. But I... Uh... <laughs> I like Daffy Duck. I loved that, those cartoons as a kid because they had things I'd never seen before in Scotland. The, the clear blue skies, the <laughs> animals that weren't sheep. I was like, what are those things? I don't, I don't care what you say, Daffy Duck is much edgier than Donald Duck. I've heard the argument, but Craig, Donald Duck doesn't wear pants. Daffy Duck doesn't wear a thing! <laughs> Nothing! Daffy Duck's got the full Monty, he's like, what? <laughs> Daffy Duck, he lets the feathers feel the weather, if you know what I'm saying. And, in terms of uh, personality, Daffy is set apart by his bad attitude. He doesn't care if people don't like him. And he screams at anyone who gets in his way. He's kind of my hero. <laughs> He's right up there as one of my favourite cartoon characters. Uh, you know, right there with uh, Scooby-Doo and uh, Joe Biden. Uh, you know, the real, the classics. <laughs> Daffy Duck, uh, of course, famous for his speech impediment. You know, the, the, you can't do that now, you're not allowed to put that in now. But he's, you know, he kind of got it, you know. And you can tell he's getting older. He spent all day today screaming about his thagging ball thack. <laughs> <laughs> <I got, laughs> a thagging ball thack. Thagging ball thack. Thagging ball thack. <laughs> we said it too many times now. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I like Daffy Duck, but my favourite Looney Tunes character is uh, Yosemite Sam. He's the red-headed, insane dude who's known for his guns. We got a picture of him? There he is. So, uh... <laughs> All right, Scotty, it's a joke. Anyway, I'm talking about uh, Daffy Duck uh, on his birthday. He used to be drawn like a real duck. Like, back in the day, it, he was more anatomical. You know, right down to he had flapping wings and his uh, corkscrew-shaped penis. <laughs> You didn't know. This is true. Actual ducks, this is true. Ducks, real ducks, have corkscrew-shaped penises. I know. There's a thing that's good uh, to remember if you're ever having a picnic in the park. And you're like, oh, we forgot that. Who's, how are we going to open the wine? There's no... 
What can we do? Oh, I don't going to get that on TV. Yeah, a man miming opening a bottle of wine using a duck's penis. <laughs> Take that, Cable. <laughs> yeah, I was reading about Daffy Duck today because I thought I've got to talk about something. And I found out his middle name is Armando. I did not know that. I did not know he was Spanish. <laughs> Which makes him the forbidden duck. And he's actually Spanish, so, you know, he, that's why he doesn't has a, have a lisp, he's actually, it's Castilian Spanish. Right, he yeah. talks like this, because <laughs> he is from that part of Spain. <laughs> there are part, no, there are parts of Spain where they talk a little like this. <laughs> it's all with Wabbit season in Barcelona. <laughs> I think I just got into a little bit of trouble there, yeah. don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know a few years ago, uh, Warner Brothers tried to reboot the Looney Tunes characters, make them all cool and, you know, MySpace or whatever the hell they were doing? They changed Daffy Duck's name to Danger Duck. <laughs> yep, got that same kind of reaction from everybody as well. Like the entire country were like, what? Does it still have a corkscrew-shaped penis? <laughs> and a thagging ball thag? <laughs> Don't worry, I never said it again. It was... That happens, though, when you executives get on things. They try and change it all up. We had a similar thing here a couple of years ago. CBS wanted me to dye my hair. I'm like, no way. I'm not bowing down to you and I'm be a slave to your corporate agenda. Which reminds me, it's the commercials. It's time for the yeah, commercials. Time for commercials. <laughs> We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Remember I said Daffy Duke one night because I was pretending to be German? Yes, I asked you if you enjoy the pleasures of the Daffy Duke. <laughs> Sometimes when Jeff and I are talking to each other, we pretend to be German. <laughs> this is because we are idiots. <laughs> Secretary, could you pretend to be German, please? <laughs> 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 Did you see that? That was awful. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, I can't. I, this is making me so absurd. <laughs> On this of all nights is the birthday of Daffy Duke. How insensitive of this horse. <laughs> Which horse? Oh, this horse. Oh, yes. I have to tell you, Jeff, it's not a real horse. You must be joking me. I am not joking, or I'm German. Well, he goose steps like a real horse. Oh, it's short. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's treat mail time, brought to you by Cork Thord, the penis shaped corkscrew. Don't stop until it pops. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do our own jingle, won't oh, we? Oh, yeah, that's fine. All right, then. <laughs> Keep going, keep going. Yeah. All right. Nice. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 
Uh, this is from Anthony in Dallas, Texas. You ever been there? Beautiful place. Ah, what Beautiful. a place. Uh, what's your favorite part of Dallas? The middle portion. Middle Very portion. Very nice. Yep, that's, that's everybody. Anthony says, hi, Craig. We went to the restaurant Craig's when you were in L.A., and the food was awesome. See, I told you. Yeah, good, good stuff. Uh, but you weren't there. How come? Well, I don't go everywhere where my name is. I can't, I, you know, I don't go to Craig's sexy parlor <laughs> either. I do, I do go there. I go there. What well, other things are called? I've Craig. seen you over at uh, Craig's Laundromat. That's, uh, that's a nice place. I didn't know there was a Craig's. Yeah, one. you do a little fluffing and folding. No, that's Craig's sexy oh, parlor right, where yeah. you get the fluffing and folding. <laughs> uh, this is from Randy in Brisbane, Australia. Dear Craig and Jeff, did you know the duck-billed platypus is poisonous? Four question marks? Poisonous? Yeah, yeah. Now here's what, here's my question to you, four question marks. Is it, uh, should it, uh, uh, you want to, uh, no, uh, wah -ha! Four question marks? That means it's like four times as questiony. Surely you mean four exclamation points, don't you? Like poisonous instead of poisonous? 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 Maybe it's that because of the Australian accent sometimes makes things sound like a question when they're not. You know, it's just like, good eye, how you doing? Oh, no, that is a question. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Uh, this is from Amy in Salt Lake City. You ever been there? Love Salt Lake. <laughs> I know I probably shouldn't ask this, but uh, what's your favorite part of Salt Lake City? <laughs> the middle part. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. What are you going to do with your tax refund? Uh, I'm going to spend my money at Craig's Fluff and Fold. <laughs> Jeff, what are you doing with yours? I'm going to buy me a new friggin' suit. <laughs> <laughs> the hell, man? You look great. You look great. That's what you keep telling me, man. Well, can you see yourself? <laughs> no, that's the problem. Right, right. <laughs> There's another one, but I don't want to read it. No, it's up to you, man. You've got the power. All right. Well, it, it's just every time this subject comes up, things get a little tense around here. You don't have to do it, man. But if you no, I'm doing it. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> it's from Rebecca in Sparta in New Jersey, not the, you know, 300 one. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello, Greg and Jeff. Did you put Secretariat on a diet? He's looking thinner these days. Oh, so you, you have been on a diet. Oh, great. So you admit you were fat earlier on. Yeah, you were! <laughs> Kick his ass, man. Kick you his kick ass. Die, kick his ass. <laughs> everybody just calm down. Just calm down, everybody. Calm down. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Calm down. I'll kick his ass. I'll kick his ass. I'll kick his ass. It's not worth it. You said it. <laughs> everybody just calm down. We'll just have a quiet moment. <laughs> We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. tonight is a beautiful actress. <laughs> Boy, she's not a prize. It's like you did woo like you really were at the Price is Right. Beautiful actress, a hundred dollars. No. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'll ask. Anyway, look, the... Uh... <laughs> My first guest tonight is a beautiful actress. She stars on The Big Bang Theory, Thursdays at 8 o'clock on CBS. Take a look at this. Why does... <laughs> Melissa Rush, everybody, Melissa Rush. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Melissa. How are you? You look great. Thank I mean, you. great. Let me just get the thing oh. for you. I, I, I know that Presents. We, yeah. Hey. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We Thank keep you. it, of course, in case Tom Cruise is ever on. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. Will he be mad that I'm taking his stool? Why would you start I'm, with that? I'm sorry. You look fantastic. That's May I so say nice. there's a little bit of vavoom kind oh. of... Oh, hey. <laughs> Thank you. Are I you going been... out somewhere later or something? This is all for you. All for you. It would never fit me. Oh. I have another one in your size. That's then me. I am coming out with you. We're going out. We're going out. How have you been? I haven't seen you for a while. Your shoes look nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. They're very shiny. They are very shiny. I got a buff backstage. Uh, and how about your shoes? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how's it been? What have you been up to? What's going on? Good. Things are good. Yeah, the Big Bang Theory, that's still on, isn't it? It is. We wrapped the season last night. Wait, wait. Were you drinking in that clip? I was drinking. But are you allowed to do that on TV? I don't people watch it and then get ideas. They, they might. They might. They give us juice. It's very concentrated juice. So there are times from, like, that sugar high that I kind of feel drunk. Mm -hmm. You never drank with me then, because <laughs> there's a lot of sugar in this whiskey. I'm getting a little drunk. <laughs> no, um, the uh, but I just mean the whole idea of drinking on TV. Do, aren't there like huge amounts of uh, people are like, oh no? Oh, I wonder if people are at home just thinking like, oh, the cast of The Big Bang Theory is drinking. I'll go to the old refrigerator and have a beer, or is it more like I'm going to go on a bender and have a drink? <laughs> Well, that's what I would say, okay. yeah. But that's it. But you're uh, notoriously a big drinker, aren't you? Oh, I'm the worst. Yeah, yeah, I'm I've heard that. Trouble. Oh, no, I'm you are not. so drunk right now. No, you're not. You're not I a drinker. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> what about, are you a goey outy person? Do you go to clubs and, and do that? <laughs> or whatever people do now? Do they do that at clubs? I don't know. I've never been to one. Yeah. Here's the thing, when I see people waiting online for a club, I get so angry. Like, I'm in my car coming out of the movie theater in my sweatpants, usually with a stain on my shirt, and then the people are waiting in line in, like, tiny dresses and, like, big heeled in the cold out. I know, the women, too. I know. I... <laughs> And I'm like, I, that doesn't look fun Well, they're to me. going out to, you know, to have, you know, dancey, sexy fun. You know, that is true. At the dancey, want... sexy club. Well, do you, a... do you want, do, have you ever been to a dancey, sexy club? I, I like a dance party. Right. Like a contained, like a, not a club dance party. But we had our rap party the other night at right. the Theory, and we had a good, good time dancing. I'll bet there's some serious party animals over there. We, we know how to, I have bruises. Huh? Covered in bruises. Really? From doing what? Playing Twister? <laughs> Just dancing. Somehow I bruise. What kind of... Were dancing. you slam dancing? What the hell were you doing over there? I must have just very bruisable skin. So if, you, if you're now finished for the summer, yes. right? Yes. Are you going to go on vacation? I think I'm... Where should I go? I don't have anything planned yet. Could you plan my... Craig's choice. All right, Wherever. then. Uh, let's... All right. You've come into my store and I'm a vacation pilot. Okay. All right. Okay. Hello, sir. This is a lovely store you have. Thanks. I'm a vacation planner. No. <laughs> do you need a vacation plan? I do need a vacation plan. I see. What's your budget? Mmm... $25. I see. And what kind of thing do you like on a vacation? Do you like rain and clouds and misery? Or do you like sunshine and beaches and stuff? I like sunshine, beaches and misery. All right. So you take... <laughs> Take your 25 bucks and go down to uh, Santa Monica Pier. You'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> Done. Done. So, no, seriously, you must take a vacation. It's, good. it's important that you recharge. What do you like to do? Do you like to ski? Do you like to high jump? Do you like high jump? Yeah. <laughs> That's the new thing everybody... What is a high jump? Well, you know, you, it's in the Olympics. You know, people oh. run up to a jump and go over it. I, I will do a high jump. Where does one go do that on vacation? Um, Highlands. High, the Highlands? The Highlands. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are you jumping? Well, but what, about, are you, what about Europe? You've, have you done Europe? I yet? have done Europe. I do. Here's the thing. The last time I took a European vacation... Yes? I made a big mistake where I had planned it... So, I mean, down to the restaurants we were going to go to, I had a food itinerary. I show up at the airport, and my passport was expired. Ah. And it was my honeymoon. Oh, whoa. 
Oh, God! What the hell's wrong with you, judgy <laughs> bastard? You think she doesn't feel bad enough without you going, oh, oh. You must have really, are you still married to this guy? No, we got divorced. Oh, we man. No, we were still married. All right. But it was terrible, and I ended up having to, like, reschedule everything, fly to New York. My parents are in Jersey, and I spent the two, the first two nights of my honeymoon on my parents' fold-out couch in Jersey. That's it's kind of hot. It was hot. Yeah. It was weird. My mother, like, to, she, because she felt so bad, would, like, just dim the lights at night. Oh. She'd be like, good night. Hope you're having a wonderful honeymoon. Uh, <laughs> no, you got to go with the flow. Oh, I am so not go with the flow. Really? I'm the worst. I like, I like a schedule. I like to know what restaurant. Oh, the first time I went there to tear up after college, I had a Rick Steves, you know, Rick Steves, the travel guy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I would follow his his tips and I went into a restaurant and I told the the major me that I was friends with Rick Steves from the States <laughs> and I got treated like royalty. No way. It was fantastic. Do that everybody. Everybody, everybody do that. It was so great. They Let's do that. Car. It's fantastic. I'm gonna do that when I I'm go home. Like oh Craig get back. Hey hey. Right. <laughs> yes and now I'm a friend of Rick Steves from the States. <laughs> Come on in! <laughs> Let us welcome you with a warmness we usually only keep for American visitors. <laughs> <sighs> We're out of time. Oh, okay. Wow, you went straight to awkward pause without me even asking. <laughs> Is that what you would like? Would you like an awkward pause or I... would you like something else? Would you like a, an itinerary? I would love an itinerary. All right, first we're going to do awkward pause. Okay. Then, we're, then we're going to throw frisbees at the horse. And Wait. then you're going to leave. Okay. Great. Is that good with everyone? Good? You see, I make an itinerary, but I like to know that everyone's okay with it. I don't want to force my agenda. Can she say that? Can she say force her agenda? Because it was something earlier on she said she actually can't say. Mm -hmm. It was so awesome. No. <laughs> Frisbees at the horse then? Oh, yeah. Sure. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, it's a rush, everybody. Well, it's a rush. Yeah. Oh. 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 I'm going to have to talk to those girls. They're starting to look afraid and they're hiding behind the horse. <laughs> My next guest is the star of It's a Brad Brad World Wednesday nights on Bravo. Take a look at this. I can't figure out. You know, he is right. Brad Goreski, everybody. Brad Goreski. Brad, Brad, you look, you look sensational. I'm concerned about the no socks, though. I don't know. Why? I don't know. It's just, it's, it's kind of, I, I expect you to provide garment entertainment. <laughs> and there is, you know, I mean, your ankles are adorable, but... <laughs> It's like my way of flirting with the audience, like a Victorian lady, you know, she would, like, lift up her dress a little bit and show her ankles. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> You disappoint me. <laughs> really? I don't know. I mean, don't they prefer wow. this kind of thing? Yeah. Look at that, see? That's and nice. I like that. You know what uh, drives people crazy? <laughs> like, if you roll your sock down and there's a little mark of where the sock was. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. If you ever want to uh, get a lady, and I'm not saying that you will, but if ever you do... <laughs> it's not going to happen. That, uh, well, you never, never say never. True. Very Although true. I think we could possibly say that. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, the secret's out. Oh, I don't. Know. Those are nice socks. Do you like them? I do very much. Yeah. Very much. I like the whole look tonight. Thanks. Yeah, it's no, really nice. You. I like your whole look. Thanks. Well, I wore this for you. 
It just feels a little like... Oh, sort of Scottish. Yeah, yeah, a little, yeah, a little bit. Of it, yeah. Yeah. No, I see where you're going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little bit. When you came out, I went, I'm home. I know. Oh, that's yeah. what I figured. Yeah. No, it's nice. Thank I like you. it. It's very... Uh, you uh, look like you've been... Uh, you've been some kind of fitness regime or something? Yeah, I've been working out a little you bit. You look good, man. Thanks. Well, I'm, you know, I'm going to be 36, and I figure this is kind of my last stab. <laughs> if I get my last stab at 36, I would not be as upbeat as I am today. Well, here, this is why it's my last stab, because I, I was a heavy child. So, so I've been so working for, like, years and years and years at getting a cute body. And so mm. I figure, like, now, if I don't get it drilled into... Oh, forget it. I'm, no, I no, no. No, no, no. No, you're absolutely right. drilled into my body. No, then, no, no, no. Like, muscle memory. Yeah. That kind of thing. No, no, it's, it's right. And also, it's healthy. It's good for you. It's, it you is. Know, good for you. Now, in the show, uh, you go to Dubai. I did. Shopping? Is that the idea? No, I was there actually uh, working with Kate Spade New York, who's a, a brand that I work with a lot. And right. we were there. Um... Nice plug, by the way. Oh, thanks. yeah. No, I didn't. I hardly noticed it go by. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Well, that's why I was there. Right, right. So right. I was there, and we threw this like huge party, and uh, I dressed a bunch of VIPs, and it was very. Uh, it was. It was a very interesting place to go to. Dubai. Have you been to Dubai? I've been to Bahrain or Bahrain. Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah, it's quite close by. I have a story about Bahrain. Yeah, me too. Oh, what's your story? I can't really tell it. I can't either. Really? <laughs> no. I... <laughs> yeah. Is yours kind of illegal? Uh, no. <laughs> Mine isn't illegal in America. Uh, right, me neither. Right. Yeah, I know exactly what... Yeah, we had the same thing. No, no, we did not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, but hey, you know, good time. Yeah. Good time. Dubai is was that what fun. you're doing on the show this season then? Going to different places? Or is it just. Uh... Uh, yeah, I've been to, back home to Toronto, obviously New York. A lot's happened in LA. And then Dubai is uh, the second to last episode. And then the finale, which, um, you know, will be on. Next week is uh, me with the gorgeous Stacey Keebler, who's one of my clients. Oh, right. Yes. And uh, what you got to do with her? <laughs> um, I just dress her. I style her for the American Music Awards. You seem suspicious. I have that look about me, oh, but okay. I, I'm not actually <laughs> suspicious at all. I, you shouldn't be. A little bit. Really? Yeah. Well, Canadians aren't suspicious. No, that's true. Yeah. That's true. I do like Canadians. Not all of them. <laughs> That would be ridiculous. You can't like an entire nation. What is it, like 35 million people well, in Canada? Or yeah, something? I don't like all of them. You can't like all either. of them. That'd be I like, I like most of them. Yeah, you don't like Celine Dion, I know. I that. do like Celine oh, Dion. Do. But I don't know her. I just had oh. a dream about her once. What was the dream? I had this. Did I never tell you this? I don't think so. I had this dream once. This is true. I had this dream that uh, Celine Dion came up to me and she was drunk. I don't even know if she drinks. But she came up to me and she said, I've had a little too much candy. <laughs> And that was it. But I've I never actually met her at all. That was the dream. That was the entire... So I told it on the show the following night. Got an Emmy. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't know if she would be that, that... You know Celine Dion? I wish more than anything that I knew Celine Dion. Really? Yeah. I'm sure she'd be delighted for having you dress her. No? No, I heard, though, that she travels with all of her own to um, photo shoot. She comes with her own trunks and trunks of clothes and, like, a big trunk filled with jewelry, which I think is beyond glamorous. I don't know. I like hand luggage. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not code like, for something like... that you can get in Dubai. <laughs> no, I just mean I like, you know, I like to travel. Like, do you carry bags and bags? And is... Absolutely not. Right, because, no. you know, you, you got to fold it and go. Yeah, yeah, I keep, like, a very small amount of... Of, of stuff to travel. Yet with. you're always stylish. So do you steam? I bring a steamer with me. Really? Yeah, I do. Everywhere I go. I'm fascinated by. Not that. everywhere. I didn't bring one here, but I bring. Well, one. we we have a steamer here. Yeah, you do. You're equipped with that. You have one, so. <laughs> I have a steamer. Yeah. No, it's true. It is. <sighs> <laughs> so the show ends next week. The show ends next week. You going on vacation? You going away? Abs no, no, no. I'm going to um, uh, to New York because the the Met Ball is happening right. in Manhattan in a couple of weeks. I never so. miss that. <laughs> I know. What's that? Have you been? I don't even know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, Vogue, yeah. <laughs> Vogue throws. It's a fundraiser for the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and it's a big. I like art. Yeah. You'll All love right, it. there you are. It's then. A big fashion extravaganza.
A gonza? <laughs> Extravaganza. A gaza? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, oh, good. Yeah. You've changed, man. I have? Yeah, they don't say a gonza in Canada. Well, man, no. they might actually. You know. I don't think they do. No. No, it's a little bit too. Um... Effervescent? Yes. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Um, exuberant. Yeah, but you know, those exuberant Canadians. Yourself, for example. I am a little bit, yeah. yeah. Celine Dion? Have you ever seen her live? No, only my dream. <laughs> <laughs> William Shatner, he's uh, Canadian. He's very flamboyant. Really? Well, yeah. I isn't his... Okay. Really? Kinda. Does isn't flamboyant like mean old? something different? <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely classified as flamboyant. Well, yes, but that's all right. I mean, flamboyant isn't a thing to be, you know, in any way judged. It's, it's adorable. Oh, I love, I think. Flamboyance? I it's fantastic. It's entertaining. It's very entertaining. Yeah. Do you get a lot of joy from looking at other people's clothing? Yes. You mean like what, like on the red carpet? No, or? I'm just I'm talking actually about you know in your life. Like if you sit down somewhere in New York and have a cup, like a cup of coffee oh, in the yeah. window, you you know you check it all out. And, and I can't I can't not tell somebody if I like what they're wearing too. I think that's okay. It's if you can't not tell them if you don't like what they're wearing, that's a no, problem. No, never. Well, personal style is all a matter of taste. So right. Just because it might not be something that I trust me, I probably wore outfits last week that people would like roll their eyes at. I actually think yeah, I wore but never a few mind this them. weekend. Never mind them. It, yeah, I don't. I don't, don't mind let them at haters all. haters get you down, Brad. You're oh, really never. Nice. No, 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 no. There's no room for haters. No, no. I get up. Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, that's awful. But how do you deal with the red carpet thing? Because if you're asked to comment on something, usually what they want is a snarky comment about what you know some uh, you know lovely woman is wearing. It's usually it's women. Men don't get the same kind of trouble. Really. So so. Yeah. We we in my like little group of friends. We call it KIC. Keep it cute. Yeah. Yeah. So it's adorable. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you have to keep your comments cute. You know, you start off with something positive, and then you kind of veer into, well, I would have done this differently. So uh, awkward pause. Frisbees at the horse. Uh, you want some uh, stuff? <laughs> what kind of stuff do you have? Well, I got a pen. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, it's a it's a marker pen, so you can sniff it and get high. <laughs> Is that considered a relapse? Yes. Oh, I don't want one of those then. All right. Because I wouldn't be able to resist Well, what about it. some chocolate dollars? Oh, I love those. Yeah, there you are. Then. Do I get to have one or the whole dish? You, my friend, <laughs> always are the whole dish. Brad Goreski, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>